Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to learn some of the important multiple choice questions in food processing topic. So we've covered some material topics under food process engineering, which are actually required for food safety officer examination. So now, today, let's just brush up the learned portion with some important MCQs, right? Now, so, uh, the first question here is, food processing can be analyzed in the terms of, okay, the first point is unit operation, mass balance, energy balance, and process chart. So, which would be the correct answer here? It can be either unit operation, it can be either mass balance, or it can be energy balance, or it can also be process chart. So, yeah. Here, the answer for the question, food processing can be analyzed in terms of is unit operation. Okay, the answer for the question, food processing can be analyzed in terms of what? Unit operation. So, unit operation is nothing but a process where only physical changes take place and, you know, uh, chemical changes won't take place. So, such an operation or such a process where only physical changes take place is called as unit operation. Now, the second question. Food spoilage occurs due to rash. Option A, bacteria. Option B, molds. Option C, yeast. And option D, all the above. Yeah, just take time to answer this question. So food spoilage, you know, it can occur due to n number of reasons. So all the three, like uh, if you take bacteria, yes, there are chances for what? Food spoilage. And when you take what? Moles. You know, moles are also responsible for food spoilage, food poisoning, food intoxication, food infection. And when you talk about yeast, yes, there are chances for food spoilage due to yeast also. So... The answer for this question is food spoilage occurs due to bacteria, mold, and also yeast. So the answer is all the above. Okay. Food spoilage occurs due to bacteria, molds, and also yeast. So all the three classification of microorganisms are directly or indirectly responsible for food spoilage in food. Now, the next question. The deterioration of food grains during storage is caused by dash. I repeat, the deterioration of food grains during storage is caused by dash. Option A. Microorganisms, option B, rodents, option C, environmental factors, and option D, all the above. Okay, so what's the answer for the question? The deterioration of food grains during storage is caused by dash. Just take your time in answering the question. Yeah. The deterioration of food grains, so when it is stored, can be caused by a number of factors. The option A is microorganism. Is there a possible cause uh, of deterioration by microorganism? The answer is simply yes. Microorganisms are or are 
are you know fully responsible or partially responsible for this deterioration so any kind of bacteria any kind of classification of bacteria virus i mean mold or yeast are responsible for the deterioration of food grains yes so the first option is correct what about the second option it's rodents rodents are nothing but rats mice or something like that so yes it, we have a possible cause uh, for the deterioration of food grains by rodents yes so the option b also goes with a question now next next is environmental factors so when you consider environmental factors what are the main things we could always look into one is uh, the temperature yes that can be a fluctuation of temperature it can be too hot or too cold or uh, there are chances right and uh, the second one is okay like uh, what like it can be okay it can it can have a very humid temperature so the water activity might rise yeah so we've got n number of environmental factors that can also be responsible for deterioration of food grains during storage so environmental factors will also go well with this question right the answer for the question the deterioration of food grains during storage is caused by yeah microorganism like you can go with everything microorganism rodents environmental factors and the right answer would be all the above i repeat the deterioration of food grains during storage is caused by all the three like microorganisms rodents and environmental factors yes now the next question the shelf life of food material is increased by reducing option a spoilage causing microorganisms chemical reactions biochemical reactions and option d is all the above just take time to analyze the question and answer the right okay choose the right option for the given question like always try to eliminate the answers while uh, while just giving the right answer for the question i mean eliminate the options so when you try to eliminate the options you will have the less number of options and ultimately you can end up in writing the right answer for the question okay so what can be the answer Yes. Yeah. The options are again spoilage causing microorganism. Option B is chemical reaction. Option C is biochemical reaction. And option D is all the above. So what uh, we'll first talk about spoilage causing microorganism. Definitely, okay. The answer itself. I mean, the option itself says. There are chances, not there are chances, uh, nearly 80 to 70 to 80 percent, okay, of uh, uh, spoilage or self life, self life reduction happens, okay, due to what spoilage causing organisms. The second one is uh, chemical reactions. So, what do you know by chem about chemical reactions, okay? It can be either due to what external factors, you can have what some chemical reactions can take place, take place there. And the second point, uh, when you just talk about what, like any kind of, okay, uh, any kind of chemical reactions are possible to happen. So when such a chemical reaction takes place, there can be a reduction in the shelf life of the food material. So when there's going to be a reduction in the shelf life of the food material, like you need to take utmost step, okay, to reduce both the chemical reactions. And the third point is biochemical reaction. Yes, obviously, this is also one of the factors where the shelf life can be reduced. Okay, when biochemical reactions take place, you know, um, uh, different properties of the okay, food can be changed or altered, which pertains to what decrease in the shelf life. So, in order to increase the shelf life of the food material, you need to reduce the spoilage causing microorganism or the chemical reactions or the biochemical reactions. And the answer again for this question is also all the above. The shelf life of food material is increased by reducing, 
like spoilage causing microorganism, chemical reaction, and also biochemical reaction. Now, the next question What are activity of pure water is option A less than 1, option B greater than 1, option C equal to 1, and option D none of the above. Okay, uh, yeah. So now it's your turn to you choose the right answer for this question. What is water activity? You know, uh, like water activity is nothing but the partial vapor pressure of water in a solution. And it is divided by what? The standard state partial vapor pressure of water. Right? So, um, we can also say that like water activity of a food is the ratio between the vapor pressure of the food itself when in a completely undisturbed balance with the surrounding air medium and the vapor pressure of distilled water under identical conditions. So you have, um, you now know the definition of water activity and can you just tell me like, uh, yeah, what's the water activity of pure water? Yes, the answer is equal to one water activity of pure water is always equal to one right now the next question the process of heating and immediately cooling the milk for controlling the bacterial growth is known as dash a process where heating also takes place uh, where eating takes place and immediately after heating cooling also takes place so this is mainly done to control the bacteria so what process is that yeah take your time in answering the options are option a blending option b regeneration Option C, pasteurization, and option D, evaporation. So, the right answer for the question is Yes, so when we talk about like milk uh, and the process is also very clear that it can be heating and cooling. So the right answer here is pasteurization. So you know like the milk, okay, after uh, after after collecting the milk, it would be subjected okay, to a heating process. And after, okay, after the heating process, the milk would be cooled uh, simultaneously like a uh, the temperature of the milk okay to be stored would be around 4 degrees celsius like so uh, the milk will be heated first and then it will be cooled so the process here is called as pasteurization now the next thing pulses are a major source of dash the first option is protein carbohydrates fats and vitamins yes can you tell me the answer for this question? Pulses are a major source of fat. Mm. It can be anything, right? So just take your time in just recollecting the examples we learned. Yeah, so the answer for this question is protein. Pulses are the major source of protein. Now, the next question. Final phase of processing operation is dash. The first option is drying. Second option is treating. Third option is bagging. And fourth option is smelling. So, which is the final phase of operation? So drying is nothing but removal of water, 
okay treating is nothing but you can treat uh, the food material either with uh, any kind of chemicals or something like that or anything anything can happen in that place packing is nothing but you you just uh, pack the product like uh, making it uh, or preserving the product making it safe for conception or extending the shelf life of the product and the last one is milling so milling no, it's also a unit operation where you mill the product uh, to attain the desired quality or the property. So your answer here is bagging. Yeah. Now the next question is equilibrium moisture content of the grain depends on the first point environmental conditions, second point grain properties. Third option is both A and B, and the fourth option is relative humidity of environment. Yes. Or the answer for the question: Equilibrium moisture content of grain depends on both environmental conditions and grain properties. So the right answer will be okay. Will be this. So the right answer for the question number nine, like equilibrium moisture content, grain depends on both A and B. Last question, enthalpy is. This is one of the important question. So enthalpy is what is enthalpy? Option A, total heat content of material. Option B, energy level of material. Option C, specific heat of material. And option D. A and B. Yes. So the right answer for the question enthalpy is like enthalpy is nothing but the total heat content of material and also it talks about the energy level of the material. So the right answer here would be okay. The right answer here would be both. I mean both A. I'm sorry. So the right answer for enthalpy question is both A and B. It talks about both uh, like total heat content of the product and also the energy level of the material. Yeah, so that's all for today's class. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.